Okay, so I want to show you a problem that happens when you install uh, Ubuntu on VirtualBox. So we've got our window and it's pretty small. If we go to our display settings, we notice that it's 640 by 480 and there's no choice to do something else. Um, and that's kind of a problem. You know, it's not going to give us enough space to, uh, to work with. Uh, let me see here. So one of the things we can do is we change the super user and we can install VirtualBox guest DKMS. And what that allows us to do is to be a virtual guest. Um, essentially telling Ubuntu that yes, you are on a virtual machine. And so here's some extra packages that are gonna help you with things like um, sound, networking, uh, Screen, different hardware options that you wouldn't normally have. Um, it's going to take that a minute to install. Uh, sometimes just doing that will fix the problem all by itself. And sometimes it won't. We're going to look at what happens when it won't. So we go to scaled mode. And so we're full screen here and uh, the install is completed and we want to go to system settings and we're gonna go to the displays and we're gonna try to choose a different resolution and it doesn't happen. So they say that you should, uh, you should reboot or uh, reset your virtual machine after installing something like this. Um, but here, um, we'll go ahead and, and just power off this machine. We'll try uh, starting it again and seeing if that helps us at all. Now, all this stuff that we're talking about in this problem, you can you can look up online. Uh, maybe we'll look at some of those references here in just a minute. But it is. It is a problem that a lot of people run into, so I felt that it was really necessary to address it here in this video. So our machine is booting up, um, and we still see that it's small. We go to our system settings. We go to display, <clears throat> and again, we have no choice for resolution. So I want to show you uh, something else that, um, let's see. Yeah, so it's not a scaling problem. So I want to show you, uh, you know, some resources online. Um, this guy here said go down to software and update and, um, he said additional drivers, and this is on Ask Ubuntu. And he's saying using uh, x86 virtualization solution, x11, x11 guest utilities is what you want. So if we apply those changes, um, and then we close, we can now, um, Check to see if that works. That didn't help us. Uh, he does say reboot your virtual box, so we're going to shut this down and we'll open it back up to see if that did in fact fix our problem. I somehow don't think so. But when you do run into problems uh, like this, be sure to, you know, web searching is really your friend. Um, you're probably not the first person to have the issue, and that's something to remember. Uh, the big question is how do you how do you properly ask that question on the web search browser? So here we've opened it back up, and it still doesn't work right. Um, so I want to show you. Um, 
lost my window here. Let's see, how did we do this last time? I can't reach my settings there. This is not, not letting me do what I want to do here. All right, we'll just scroll down. Here we go. So let's get back to that software settings. We'll go to uh, uh, additional drivers. Let that load up. And if you run into this problem, notice it says, uh, I click that I want to use it. I say apply the changes, but watch this. It's actually going to, um, not take. So it says do not use this device. So let's look at some of these ones down here on the bottom. You can try picking a different one, um, but it's going to work just like the one on top. Um, the machine that I'm using as the host is a Xenial machine, so maybe we could try that. But, uh, you know, so if we select that option and we say apply changes, all that's going to happen is it's going to go back to the, the default one that it had. There we go. So notice that it's not it's not accepting this whatever change we want to make. It's not actually going to accept it. it says that device is not working, so that's no good. So great that we get to see this here in this video because hopefully uh, if you run into this problem, um, we can uh, look at a way to fix it together. <clears throat> so I'm going to close that. Um, So another another suggestion by someone else, and, and I'll be honest, this kind of stumped me a little bit, so I ended up having to look up some more options, because usually just installing that guest package helps. But he's having us go to X Diagnose, and you open that up and check these boxes here. Uh, this one asks you about two, and he's provided some great pictures here. So we hit Apply. We'll close that. We'll um, reboot our uh, virtual box here, shut it down and start it back up. There we go. So uh, once again, I was stumped on this one. I had to look up some more information. So uh, definitely utilize web searching. That's a that's a great uh, great tool, handy thing. A lot of really smart people out there that can help. So we see our display settings now. We have a couple more options. So we're ready to uh, build.